everyone, I'm JE, and in this video, we'll be talking about the International Graduate Program A of Tokyo Institute of Technology and Max Scholarship Program. Note, however, that this video will only talk about the university recommendation of the Max Scholarship Program through the Tokyo Institute of Technology. If you're interested in the embassy recommendation, maybe I can make another video for that. Okay, so first, the thing you should do is check the internet and search for International Graduate Program A of Tokyo Institute of Technology or just basically search IGP space A space Tokyo Tech. Yeah, maybe the first link will give you the application documents or the application requirements and procedure for the application obviously. So first you have your checklist and then application form. Your application form is basically just information about you, your education, your parents, your family, your previous work, yeah, a lot of things. And then you have your field of study and study program. This is about your research proposal. Tokyo Tech is maybe can be considered as a research university. So this is quite important for them. Then of course you have the official academic transcript or transcript of records. This this maybe does not affect the application very much, at least in the university. But given that you of course you have good grades. But if you're you want the max scholarship program or any other scholarship program, maybe this is the most important thing, having the best grades. The best grades is very important for scholarship yeah and then you have the certificate confirming graduation and degree of expected graduation that's self-explanatory then you have your summary of thesis or research so if you're applying for m1 or for master L, so they are expecting that maybe you have done a research or thesis in your undergraduate program and that is that document then you are also required to pass an English proficiency test score report. So maybe by TOEFL, TOEIC, I, uh, yeah, IELTS, yeah, a lot of uh, testing bodies that you can try. And then maybe you can also be exempted from the English language proficiency proficiency test score so the submission if you are a native English speaker or if your university is using English as a medium of communication. But if you're going to submit this, you have to ask the department that you're applying to to check. Yeah. And then you have the recommendation letter from the dean of your college, dean of your college. And also you have an evaluation sheet from a supervisor or the head of the department. Also you have a consent of a Tokyo Institute of Technology or tech, Tokyo Tech faculty member. So maybe I, I, I will discuss it later. This is very important. Then you have the copy of your passport and then of course an application fee of 30,000 Japanese yen. So maybe approximately around mm, 300? $300? Yeah. And in pesos around 15,000 pesos. Okay, so those are the application document requirements. Yeah, so let's talk about the timeline now. The, f the first thing you should do, of course, after after deciding that you really want it and after knowing about this application documents, first thing is to ask a supervisor, a faculty member of Tokyo Tech to to be your perspective or your supervisor when you arrive in Tokyo Tech. So if the person of uh, the person you choose is very important not only in your application process, not only on your scholarship, but of course in your life in the university, because he or she will be your advisor, not only in mostly in research, but also for he will he or she will also advise you for some other things. Yeah. Okay. So 
last year i applied last year and got in here in december oh no i applied last last year so 2018 and i got here last september september 2019 so i have to, to apply on the i think october or november yeah all right let's make check ah, okay so ah the, the application deadline in 2018 was in november 27 or 28 so i started asking professors and like requesting documents from my undergraduate university in October but actually the application starts in September and ends in November sometimes it also ends maybe it also can also end in December of the same year but usually it starts as September yeah so for my case I started inquiring for a professor in October 1 yeah I think in the first week of October yeah, and then also asking for recommendation letters. And days before, yeah, I, I sent the documents through mail. I use DHL, but you can also just use regular mail, but just make sure that it will reach Tokyo Tech before the deadline. So I sent it on 26, I uh, no, 21st of November. Then they receive it 20, on the 26th, one or two days before the deadline. And yeah, so after sending it, they they confirmed that they receive it, and in and maybe in the last week of December, my my chosen advisor messaged me that they need to do an interview regarding my application. Yeah, so this will be the first time that we'll be talking, not through typing or not through, uh, not not really on written form but verbally this was via skype so um the thing is some professors before uh, before accept accepting you as a prospective advisee ask you to do some tests or some interview that is separate from this interview that i'm talking to so yeah so i on december on the last week of december they notified me that they that i will have or I had an interview on the January, on the 18th of January. Yeah, so the, on the 18th of January, I did I did the interview for 30 minutes, just a short 30 minutes. And in my experience, some questions are really easy, some questions are hard. So what are the questions involved? So, of course, they, they ask about my name, birthday, some basic information. And they also asked me about my current position. At that time, I was working for a, a private company. So I talk about that. Then also, of course, a motivation in applying is very important to them. So they asked that. And also, I have to discuss my undergraduate thesis. Maybe if, by using some just a few sentences. And of course, the research plan. And they also confirm if I really need a scholarship yeah in my case i was applying i applied for max scholarship or this is basically the ministry of education culture and sports something of japan so basically the japanese government yeah so they also asked me about some technical questions about my research my field of study and my major yeah very technical they even asked me some equations yeah <laughs> And in February 19, 2019, I got the result about the school admission. So good thing I got accepted. And on the same day, or maybe on the same email, they told me that they are recommending me for for max scholarship. So yeah. So may if you if you if ever you applied and you didn't see that they are recommending you, maybe you can ask. And maybe, uh, I don't know what is the case for the others, but for me it's the same same email or maybe just this on this notified me on the same thing. Yeah. So, but after that from February 19, so, so from 
From January 18, I have to wait one month for the result of the admission, school admission. And then from February 19, I have to wait until July for the scholarship results. So in the 1st of July 2019, I got the results of the scholarship. And this was through email saying that uh, I'm a new Max scholarship recipient for uh, uh, September 2019 admission. Yeah, so in this scholarship, they asked me to send some documents and um, yeah, they actually they sent me some documents that I have to fill out. Then I have to, I did send them back. Did some, I did send them back to the university. Yeah, and the university for my case, or through university recommendation, was the one who who processed my application for the scholarship. I didn't have to do anything, maybe outside of the university admission basically or maybe the term like I didn't have to contact the embassy or the Japanese government yeah or by myself yeah and yeah because I got accepted for that I was entitled with uh, flight tickets and and the tuition fee and some miscellaneous fee are being paid by the scholarship and they even give some allowance or um, uh, some allowance that is just enough, at least for Tokyo, that is just enough for like living decently in Tokyo for a student. Yeah, for Tokyo. But maybe for other area, other schools like outside Tokyo, the allowance is quite big. <laughs> I, should, I can say that maybe. Yeah. So in the same month, in the last week of July, they asked me for the, my flight details and also on the last week of July, um, the school notified me about my dorm, but I didn't choose my dorm. They just assigned one for me and the email said that if I don't accept this dorm that they chose for me, I have to look f for another dorm or a residence all by myself. So I didn't do that. So I just accepted the dorm even it's quite expensive or maybe just compared to the other dorms they have yeah and then on the August and the middle of August August they sent me the flight ticket details that I did use for my flight basically and yeah on the September I flew in Japan yeah and that's the, that's the start maybe a few days before the start of classes so it, yeah, so basically, that's the um, university recommendation uh, of Max scholarship student of Max scholarship, I mean, and the uh, admission procedure for Tokyo Institute of Technology or Tokyo Tech. So, um, if you have any questions, maybe place a comment down below, and I can help you with your application process if you're interested. Thanks. Bye.